Good day, I'm Jackie Judd, and this is Health on the Hill. Congress and the courts continue to wrangle over the funding and the constitutionality of the health care reform law. To bring us up to date, Mary Agnes Carey, senior correspondent for Kaiser Health News. Welcome back. Thank you. The federal judge who in January ruled the reform law unconstitutional late last week sought to clarify that ruling. What did he say about it and why did he do this? The administration had asked Judge Vincent to clarify his ruling, and he said in his ruling, by clarifying, I think you mean to stay. Uh, the issue here is that the original ruling, the judge said Congress did not have the power to require people to buy health insurance, which we know is in the individual mandate. And since the individual mandate was so central to the law, as the administration had argued, the judge said basically the law could not go forward. So you had governors with mixed reactions. You had Rick Scott, the Republican governor in Florida, saying, to me, this ruling means I don't have to implement the law. You had some uh, the same kind of thinking up in Alaska with no implementation, not moving forward. And so the administration wanted to clarify this. And the judge said, I'll stay my ruling for seven days, but you, the administration, must appeal within that time period. And as we speak, the Department of Justice has not yet appealed. That's right, exactly. But they have said that they will comply with that seven-day order. And the full expectation is that they will appeal. It, they will appeal, but they'll go probably to the court, Circuit Court of Appeals and rather not than the Supreme, and not the Supreme Court, as Judge Vincent suggested they might exactly. want to consider. That's right. The practical impact of this can already be seen in Alaska. What happened there? Exactly. Governor Parnell there said, we will go forward with implementing the law. We'll decide on a case-by-case -case basis whether we use federal funding or our own funding, but I will now proceed as if the law is still in place. Okay, let's move up to Capitol Hill. Great. The question of funding for the reform law. Some Republicans Republicans on the House side have come up with some new ideas about how to defund or underfund the law. What are the latest ideas? There's a lot of funding in the law that's mandatory rather than discretionary, and discretionary funding is decided on a year-by-year -year basis. And so they want to change funding for much of the health loss provisions from mandatory to discretionary. While that probably has a lot of appeal to Republicans in the House and could pass the House of Representatives, it will fall to the same fate as all these amendments on the continuing resolution to defund the health law. They probably will not pass the Senate, and even if they did, President Obama would most certainly veto them. Okay. And the continuing resolution that was voted on a week or so ago is in place until March 18th, next Friday. It means the funding will continue for the federal government. During this period of time, have we gotten any more clues about what happens to funding of the law when they go back to negotiating the full spending, the budget? Right. Well, that's, that's yet to be determined. What's going to happen next is in the Senate, Harry Reid, the majority leader, has brought forward a continuing resolution that has no restraints at all on the Department of Health and Human Services to fund implementation of the health law. As we know in the House, that continuing resolution that was passed there had several restrictions forbidding uh, HHS or the Department of Labor, for example, to fund health care, the health care law. Now, neither one of those proposals has the 60-vote threshold in the Senate. So what Harry Reid has said is we'll have a vote, we predict they'll both go down, and Republicans and Democrats will have to meet in the middle, and that's the focus of negotiations. Okay. Thank you so much, Mary Agnes Carey, Kaiser Health News. My pleasure.